enjoying the view? Eh, hard to do these days. It's one thing for the bad parts of town to get uglier, but when places like Wayne Towers start falling apart, it makes you wonder what's next. Eh, I bet Bruce Wayne is wondering the same thing. Seems like the world's got it out for that guy. Spends some time in Arkham, gets drugged through the dirt by the media for something he didn't do. Finally picks himself up, and what happens? Someone bombs his company. Wayne's still in one piece. It's the dead who deserve your sympathy. They have it. Them and their families. You said you had a lead on Riddler. Hiding somewhere in the East End. Why am I not surprised? East End's been a no man's land since Harvey Dent blew it up. I've tried to get more patrols out there, but City Hall's not giving up the funds. The area between 42nd and 48th, more or less lawless. That narrows down the search at least. <laughs> Looks like gang activity's heating up along 43rd. Well, I'll see what I can do. Hey, I get it, but we're stretched thin, I told you. Eh, Riddler's a loner. I bet he's avoiding that area. The land at the end of 44th was recently purchased anonymously. Well, the only thing there is an old water tower. Hmm. Something feels fishy about that. My gut tells me that's the place. Agreed. Uh, nice work, Batman. Hey, if this lead pans out, Waller will have to eat her words. <laughs> I heard you got all buddy-buddy with her after I was out of earshot. Told her about that puzzle you got from Riddler. I have to tell you, I got a bad feeling about her. How so? It's the way she goes after criminals. She's ruthless. Puts her people at risk, and believe me, she doesn't let due process get in her way. So stop at nothing, and I mean nothing, to get her man. It doesn't sit right with me, and I don't think she's good for Gotham. As far as law enforcement goes, Jim, you are the best of it. I don't know many cops with as much heart as you. Uh, I appreciate your saying that. Waller, she doesn't see that as a strength. I was ordered to give her updates on breaks in the Riddler case. Now that there's a chance he's there, we should probably let her know. Don't want to give her ammunition with the governor. She's already got him breathing down my neck about what went down at the casino. I don't want Waller involved. You and I can handle Riddler. Just like it's always been. Glad to see we're on the same page. We gotta watch out for her. She moved her people into my downtown precinct without so much as a please or thank you. <laughs> I tell you, Batman, she keeps on chipping away at my authority. I'm gonna crack. Then let's find Riddler before it comes to that. I'll grab a car and meet you at Riddler's hideout. Riddler won't feel so clever after we come knocking. Kept Waller and her agency people out of the loop on this. It's just the two of us. We can handle this without her. Not exactly cozy, is it? Let's see what we can learn. Someone's keeping a scrapbook. Thane, isn't he? See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. God damn it! It's... it's stuck! No way to open it from the inside. Then how do we get out? 
we go in. After you. Crack house any day. Oh, God. Special Agent Mario Fernandez. Holy crap. He's one of Waller's. His pupils is fully dilated, the others contracted. A clear sign of brain trauma. Huh. There's no sign of a blow to the head. The man bit his tongue clean through. He must have suffered a shock or a sudden jolt. There's some hemorrhaging from the ears. His eardrums must have burst. He was trying to call for help. The phone isn't getting a signal. Damn it. Me either. He's missing parts of his fingers on the right hand. We saw this before. The victim in the casino. One shoe is missing. The sole of the other one's almost completely melted through. That's a hell of an invitation. Riddler's playing games. Bet he tried to play along. We can learn from his mistakes. Let's find out what he did wrong. Each one missing a different facial feature. The senses. They're missing their senses. Like the monkey statues. You're right. There must be a connection. There are blades inside. And a lot of blood. Huh. We know Riddler likes penalizing his victims for wrong answers. Safes with electronic locks. <sighs> Shut tight. These must be the goal of whatever game we're playing. Hmm. Scratches on the monitor. The polarizing filter has been tampered with. Like in sunglasses. Monitors typically have a polarizing filter to reduce reflection. I don't see anything. Impossible to see with the naked eye. We're going to have to look at it through a polarized lens. More monkey statues. I'm starting to sense a theme here. Take a look at this. Huh. Well, that's the same kind of body cam the GCPD issues its officers. Maybe there's a clue on the recording. Can't hurt to look. Because you've been so candid with me, I'm giving you a chance your other comrades won't get. A chance at getting out of this alive. We'll catch you. The agency, they'll find I shouldn't have to remind you that you've been chasing me for years. And I've always been two steps ahead. 
If you win the game, I'll let you go free, and you'll get a consolation prize. An exclusive sneak peek into how I'm going to kill all of your colleagues. <laughs> now, how is that for motivation? Screw you! He had the agent bound while he beat him. One shoe, melted. Must belong to poor Cinderella over there. Another one of Riddler's sick contraptions. Some kind of murder box, I guess. Well, he was always a wacko, but this takes it to a new level. The glass. It's polarized. So it is. Turn me round, but not the right way, and you might live to see another day. What does it mean? Won't budge. Must be locked in place. It's still warm. There must be some kind of heating element underneath. This thing is built like an oven. You could be cooked alive in there. The agent must have been looking for the answer in one of these safes. He chose the wrong one. Cost him his fingers. Metal mesh lining the walls. Riddler has converted this entire place into a giant Faraday cage. Faraday what? An enclosure designed to block electromagnetic fields. No signals in or out. Guess it explains why our phones aren't getting signals. Clever son of a bitch. Prototype of the trap he used on Mori. The armor, extremely sturdy, ensuring there's no possible way to open them other than solving his riddles. This is an insane way to commit crimes, even for this city. If this door were closed, the portal would be looking right at those monitors. Since the monitors have been tampered with, it's likely there's a message on it. One that can only be seen with a polarized lens. You won't know until you're inside the box, though. Hey, I got a hunch. Come here. No matter how careful Riddler is, chances are good he hasn't scrubbed his own computer. Good call. It's worth checking out. He sold technology to Riddler. I talk about strange bedfellows. You know, Waller's been keeping pretty tight tabs on Mori for a while now. She must have known. What does it say? Riddler's not working alone. Just wonderful. More psychos to worry about. He and his colleagues, they don't see eye to eye. Apparently, they don't like his beef with me. Hey, maybe we'll get lucky they'll kill each other. I recognize some of the names on this list. They're all Waller's people. Names, addresses, phone numbers. We have to warn her. First, we have to get out of here. The 
floor of the box heated up while the agent was inside. He tried standing on one foot to save the other, causing that shoe to catch on fire. When he exited the box, he tried to put the fire out, but couldn't. So he threw off his shoe. You got a VR in that cowl or something? Something like that. I've got all the pieces of Riddler's puzzle. Now I need to know what order they happened in. The agent woke up here where his body cam fell off. Once he found he couldn't call for help, he saw the message on the monitors and willingly put himself inside the murder box. No connection there. The agent's shoe caught fire inside the murder box, so he opened it in a panic. As soon as he was out of the box, he ripped off the burning shoe and threw it. Somewhere in the confusion, he must have missed something crucial. From where he lost his shoe, the agent beelined for the wall of safes. He opened one, but chose poorly. The blade sliced off his fingers, and there he met his end. Though it's still unclear how and when his eardrums could have burst. The agent made a number of mistakes, mistakes we can avoid. The heat inside the box forced him to run out before he could- Before he could get Riddler's next clue. Poor bastard couldn't withstand the heat. The Batsuit's armor is heat resistant. It'll buy me more time to find Riddler's next clue. Getting inside the box and starting the game is the only way we're getting out of here. This is insane. You know that, right? The last man who went in there is dead. There's a good chance it'll kill you too. Maybe you'd like to go in and solve it yourself. No, go ahead. I wouldn't want to steal your thunder. Monkeys. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. But which one is he referring to? Whichever one it is, the correct safe will have a face with those senses removed. Yeah, I'll check. Now, oh, damn it. They're still locked shut. They should unlock when I open this door. Stand my short range ultrasonic device. Let's test it out, shall we? Ow! The riddle! Use it to open the safe! I'll put a stop to this damn noise! <laughs>
Just in case. Damn. Now, oh, for the love of God, whatever's in that safe, it'll be worth all this pain. It's a homing missile. What does it home in on? Looking at its schematics now. A signal. A radio signal. A signal. That's... That's how he died. How who died? That's how they'll all die. Riddler. Maury sold me missiles for all of my enemies. Everyone on my list gets one. Most won't even know what's coming. For a brief second, their dull existences will light up. Why are you doing this, Riddler? Haven't you killed enough? I have a lot of enemies, Batman. While they're still breathing, I still have work to do. I'm trying to get a handle on you, Batman. Partnering with Gordon is one thing. From what I remember of the old days, he's harmless enough. We'll see about that when you're in cuffs. But the Agency, they're a natural enemy to people like you and me. You must be desperate if you're making friends with them. You must be really up against the ropes to want that government scum in your corner. They're no friends of mine. No, they're not. They'll smile to your face to get what they want. The Agency uses people, Batman. Corrupts them, breaks their minds. I wasn't always like this. The Agency made me. Oh, God, this is garbage. Yeah, Waller's a hard ass, sure, but she had nothing to do with why he's so messed up. I didn't say Waller, did I? This goes way before her time. But I don't forget. That's the thing about having a mind like mine. You remember everything. Even the things you'd rather not. Whatever happened to you, it doesn't let you off the hook. You're still responsible for all the pain you've caused. You think I'm asking for mercy? I was running things in Gotham before you could walk. I just wanted to see if the man who claims he fights for justice is really as good as he believes. But then, you already answered that for me, didn't you? When you offloaded my puzzle on your friend. Why don't you tell Gordon here what happened to Lucius Fox? Watch out, Commissioner. For all his preaching, Batman knows when to sacrifice a pawn to win the game. It was a smart move. Getting out of the way of the blast. Something only a pragmatist would do. You shouldn't have said his name, Riddler. I'll make you pay for what happened to Lucius. That must be the guilt talking. After all, the poor man's death is on you. Look at Gordon. He doesn't know what to make of any of it. Trust is hard-earned, yet easily lost, isn't it? Come on now. Don't get your tights in a twist. I knew you weren't sharp enough to do it on purpose. There's no room at the top for schoolboys who are too squeamish to fight in the gutter. You don't have what it takes to be a player in this town. Not without giving up those values you hold so dear. Game on! I'll wait for Waller and pass on what we found. She won't be happy when she finds out Riddler knows about every agency operative in Gotham. I don't blame her. If they were my cops, no one would be sleeping till we found this Riddler guy. Just keep your eyes open, Jim. In the meantime, I'll stay on Riddler's tail. Hey, hey, hold up a sec. What Riddler said in there about the agency? Smoke and mirrors, you ask me. But the thing about Lucius Fox and the blast at Wayne Tower? You gotta level with me. You got some connection with that Wayne Tech guy you didn't tell me about? Lucius Fox was an ally of mine. That got him killed. I gotta say, the fact I had to learn about it from Riddler instead of you... It doesn't sit right with me at all. I thought we had some trust, you and I. What do you expect me to do with this? Am I just supposed to sit on my hands? Pretend I never heard any of it? 
Jim, what you're asking, there's no easy way to talk about it. Yeah, I gathered that much. I mean, I wasn't born yesterday. I know you probably have a network of civilians working for you. You can't do the kinds of things you do without a gigantic support system. And as much as I understand your reluctance to talk, it doesn't make me feel any better about this. Batman. I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs>